Have you ever seen those events listed in the search results, like on constant agenda sites, etc.? Well, I'm going to show you how you can take events from a Google Calendar into the Google search results using Google as a processing platform. Just follow me step by step. First, I'm going to create a calendar, a dedicated calendar. I call it speaking gigs. Set the time zone, set the location, etc. In order to show you how it works, how you can use the script, I add a three events in the calendar. Presentation about the event script, a webinar, and an interview on various dates and times. Then you surf to script.google.com. You copy paste the code from the blog post you find on our website into the script editor. The next step is very important. You get the ID from the calendar and copy it to the clipboard in order to paste it into the code. At that moment, the script still can't run, so you need to save it. Click the do get function, press the play button, Google asks your authorization. Click on continue. The Google script would like to manage your calendars, which we allow, so we click on allow. And under publish, click on deploy as a web app. Give it initial description. What follows then is very important. You have to execute the script as yourself, otherwise it won't run, because it won't have access to your calendars. And under who has access to the app, you select anyone, even anonymous. Click on deploy, and that's actually all there is to it. You will be able to use the output from the script using your calendar to publish it on the website. Copy the current web app URL to the clipboard, paste it in the browser, and what you see is the schema code which you can embed in the code of your website. This code has initially been developed for a multi-location business, and this client, this particular client, had custom fields in their WordPress installation, so they substituted dollar location, dollar address, and dollar same as with the custom fields. In the blog post, I also show you how you can simplify that and have your own location in there hard-coded. The URL you're going to need for importing in your website, or actually importing, getting the content from and displaying the content in your website, is the, your, the final URL you will see in the address bar once you see the output of the script. You copy it to the clipboard, and then within the PHP code of your CMS, you can do a file underscore get underscore contents with this particular URL, substitute the values, and output the contents. The events will be in, the, in your HTML code, ready to be indexed by Google, and to be shown by Google. Good luck.